What's up, guys? So, before we wrap up this whole how to edit music videos professionally, um, I want to talk about special effects, and in particular, I want to talk about this lighting effect um, that you can use in music videos. Um, so, I want to do this before we wrap this up and we go into color grading and stuff, and that'll be the last part of this whole segment. But, um, I think um, learning how to add these lighting effects would help your music video um, increase the production value and just look, you know, overall professional. So let's take for example. Okay, um, so we gotta we got this scene here, right? And let's say we wanna add some lighting to this to make this look, you know, however, whatever we fill in. Um, so let's say right here. Okay, let's just say just because he's in the door and outside, um, you have a backdrop outside, and you know you want to have some light coming from somewhere outside. So it's multiple ways you can do this. You know, like everything, it's always multiple ways you can do something. But um, um, the way I'm gonna show you is through After Effects, and um, well, actually. Yeah, you know what? I'll just do this. You can do it through After Effects, but seeing that I'm not in particularly tracking anything, I'll just do it um in Premiere. Okay, so you find the spot you want to put the light right here. That's cool. So the next thing you want to do, um, the plugin I'm using is called No Light Factory. This won't be that available. I don't know if you have it. If you have it, that's great. If you don't, um, try to find it. Um, I'll drop a link down below. So if you want to check it out, you can. But um, yeah, no light factory. That's what you want to um, be using. There's multiple ways you can do this, but um, no light factory will help you out, I think, the best in the best way. Um, it's okay. So uh, here you can see I added the um, light. And what you want to do, you can drag this. This is very tax heavy on your computer too. So unless you have a strong computer that really can run this kind of lightning stuff or plug-in, I suggest you don't fool with it. Um, so yeah, the good thing about No Light Factory is it has like a bunch of different already preset um, lighting effects. So you could add just about any kind of style. Well. You can you can make your own style, or you can um, just use the presets that they have available. So simple, you drag that, put that there, and look at that already looking a lot better. But to make this look as realistic as possible, because the the camera is moving itself, as you can see, the camera is moving. So what we have to do is to track this into the scene. And to do that, um, now this is why I wanted to use After Effects because you can motion track um, a particular area, but just to make it a lot doable and easier because you'll have to boot up After Effects and then load that up and then, you know, go through all that. So this is one of the ways. Um, this, well, in particular, this is a simple track, to be honest. I'm just showing you, like, you know, possibilities you can do with this. But if you ever seen where something is moving and you want to track properly, um, After Effects, definitely pull that up. So, yeah. So what you want to do, light source, um, hit this little clock right there. And make sure this is highlighted. So you track the video forward. Right, right there. And it doesn't move that much, luckily. So all you would have to do is just go to the point that you want it to move and just pull it right in the center. If in the center there is what you're going for, pull it right there. You want to pull this out to the edge so it this entire clip and this is what you're gonna have um, during playback you're gonna have this smooth
track. You see that? Um, it's pretty short just because. And I, I can show you something else you can do to make this even fit even more. Um, you want to go to brightness, hit the clock. Um, bring this down about 70%. So let's do that. So, yeah, you want to bring that down with 70%. Um, you can track this for the whole clip if you want to, but my my um advice is you never want to overdo something, you know. You just want to put it where it really fits, and that's it. Don't go and put the whole, like, 10 different flares in a scene. Nah, don't, don't do it like that. You're definitely going to pair cheesy as hell. But if you do it subtle like this, it's going to look way more professional. So, um, yeah, you just want to go here and keep this, keep this probably, let's see, 65. So, who is that talking in the background? So, this is how it should look. Yeah, you see that? Like it. Flashes real quick. Um, like I said, this like if this was a different clip or something, it probably looks a little bit weird because it's on a certain part of this entire clip. But I'm just using it as a you know as an idea, just throwing an idea out there so you could um know what to or how to use it. But um, let's say for example, we was coming from this clip then, so it fits. It should have been a little bit longer, but you just want to. Well, yeah, you see that? You, you see that shit? Just like that, man. Simple, clean. And it, it, it just helps sell the video a lot better. So, yeah, I just want to show you guys that. Um, Like I said, the, the plugin is called No Light Factory. Um, Check it out. Um and yeah this um after this we would jump straight into color grading um that's my favorite part of any music video just finalizing the look caption mood and just putting it out there so stay tuned for that um this one was a lot a, a little simple but i wanted to um include some kind of special effect or something so you could you know have some kind of idea of what else you can do to your videos to make it look you know how you want so um check that out and um stay tuned for the next video um if these videos helping you make sure you subscribe man um i'm not begging anybody to subscribe man i'm not gonna be like some youtubers i see but just stay tuned if you want to see some more and you know give it a thumbs up um I recently dropped a book called Visual Dummy. It's a beginner guide for any upcoming videographers that want to do the same thing. It, it has everything in there for pricing, the branding, everything you would need to know jumping into this field, man. Um, I think it's very helpful. Pick it up, check it out, and stay tuned.